Hello everyone, welcome back to Birding by Ear. In today's video, we only have two vocalists. We have one that is singing and one that is calling. first about the species that is calling in this video and that is the Townsend solitaire. Now what you're going to want to listen for are going to be these clear evenly spaced whistle-like notes. Now the song of this species which unfortunately is not featured in this video can be described as this lengthy finch-like warble. In fact it's very reminiscent of the song of another Sierra Nevada species called the Cassin's finch but we'll talk about the differences and similarities between their two songs in a later video. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with the Townsend Solitaire, what you're gonna wanna look for as far as physical identification features go are gonna be its gray body, its bold white eye ring, buffy patches in the wings, and the long tail with the white on the sides. In the Sierra Nevada, good places to look for towns and solitaires are going to be a dense evergreen forest where quite often they inhabit the shaded understory, but will also sing from high perches that can be quite tough to see amongst all the tall trees. You can also look for them in montane chaparral with a scattered tall evergreens that they use for um, song posts and from which they hawk for insects. Now, as I just mentioned, this species does eat insects, but they are known for eating juniper berries and will eat um, mistletoe berries and other berries at lower elevations. We're going to talk next about the species that is singing in this video, which is the Nashville Warbler. Now what you're going to want to listen for is going to be this two-part song with these rapid, somewhat rising introductory notes followed by a trill. Now bear in mind, um, the song of the Nashville Warbler is not always going to sound exactly like this. It is variable. However, um, they do generally follow this same pattern. For those of you who are not familiar with the Nashville Warbler, uh, what you're going to want to look for as far as identifying features go are going to be its gray hood, the bold white eye ring, the yellow throat and abdomen, uh, the greenish yellow wings and tail. Uh, note that the males will be a little brighter than females. And also the males will have an orange patch on the crown that is lacking in the females. Now, as far as habitat goes, uh, good places to look for the Nashville Warbler and the Sierra Nevada are going to be riparian habitats, as well as uh, stands of evergreens mixed with black oak that have a well-developed shrubby understory. Now, this species can often be really hard to see as it sings uh, quite often from shrubs, and its nests generally are on or near the ground and are well concealed by shrubs. Thank you all so much for watching. If any of you have any questions, any comments or suggestions, please feel free to uh, leave a comment below or reach out to me personally at tanagergirl at gmail.com.